Hey there everybody and welcome to Bass and More Outdoor. I'm Justin. So I have a project behind me as you guys can see and I'm going to talk to you guys about what I did today. Um, even throwing a little clip. Wife came out and caught me building it and filmed me a little bit. So, But anyways let's get into this. So what I built today is a long range slash short range target stand. Um, and this is pretty easy to build. Most everything I actually had lying around in the garage except for a few things, which what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down um, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how long it takes to set up and then I'm going to talk to you about how I built it and where I got everything. So let me get into that. All right. So as you can see, everything fits really nice in the back of the truck. And real quick before I set this up, as you can see, the long board here, I actually cut to the length of the bed of the truck. So I did this on purpose. Um, so that it would fit this way instead of having to angle it this way or anything else so that I still got all that room for anything else I might want. So um, I'm going to show you how long this takes to put together and I haven't timed myself yet and I haven't really done this yet so you'll be the first to see with me and I'm not going to fast forward or edit through this part so you guys can actually see how long it takes. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is grab one of our legs and we're just going to set it up. We're not going to open it completely up just wide enough to where to stand. Then we're going to grab our other leg and do the same thing. Set it up a little bit apart. And again, just so it'll stand. Then we're going to grab our long board here that has all of our hooks on it. And we're going to oh, knock down that. <laughs> That's alright. It happens, right? It's not a perfect world. So get that stand again, and we're going to just set this in here. And obviously I set that too far apart, but that's okay. So there, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and pull our legs all the way out so that it grabs our board. And voila, we're almost there. Now if you're just shooting still, you're practically done. Just hang your still. And you can start shooting still. Now I did put hooks to hang another one here, another one here, so you can do a six inch, 12 inch, you know, whatever size. If you want to take those out and just do the sides, do a big target at a thousand yards, 24 inch or something like that, that's fine. But what I also did is added the targets on top. And this is the longest part of the whole process. And you'll see this still doesn't even take that long to do once we actually get into it here. If I can get the screw to go out the right way. So I'm not a carpenter by any means. I just kind of put this together. Didn't really do any measuring. And this is easier to find the holes from this angle. Um, but I just kind of threw this together real quick. But I think it's just awesome when we're all said and done. And this will suit all of our shooting needs, whether we're shooting pistol, rifle, 22, you know, short distance, long distance, doesn't matter. This will be great. This will work great for sighting in our um, rifles before hunting season. This will work great for practice, for precision shooting, um, and everything else. So that one's already up, all three of those. So now we're going to take these three out. And uh, as you can see, I don't know if you guys are timing me. I know I'm not. I'm talking a little bit in between, knocking boards over. But this is really not taking that long to set up at all. And it's actually easier to take down than it is to set up because you don't have to line these holes up perfectly. While putting it together, you just pop it up. So just like that. And we'll tighten these up. And as you can see, it comes together quite nicely. This way, if both me and the wife are at the range, I can shoot at one target, she can shoot at the other target. Heck so, yeah, I can. Yeah, it works out great. Um, or same thing if you know we want two different still targets and she wants to shoot at one and I can shoot at the other. That's great. Um, and right now, the only reason why I'm only setting up one still target on it is because all I got is one still target, but that's it. That's how long it took to put together. And as you can see, this thing is pretty sturdy. It's gonna take a shot with no issues, especially up here. This thing barely moves at all. I mean, I'm wiggling it pretty good and it barely moves. So now let's go ahead and show you what we, how we did this. The two by fours I just had lying around in the yard. Um, so I already had that stuff and most of the bolts I kind of already had. I did have to go get the hooks, 
chains I already had, um, steel plate I bought, stuff like that. But anyway, so I went to Lowe's and I bought these, if you want to come in on a close up on these. Um, I bought these at Lowe's for like five bucks for a two pack. So to both of them for $5. And they're just um, a sawhorse uh, metal frame type thing. It's, it's really flimsy kind of metal. So, you know, and that's probably why they're only five bucks. I could probably buy a galvanized metal one later on down the road if I wanted to for a little bit more that won't be more sturdy, but oh, that's cool. And then from there, like I said, the hooks. And I went with these hooks mainly for the simple that it's, or for the purpose that it's super easy to slide on. And once you get a shot, they're not gonna bounce off. Um, you know, no matter how much this target bounce, that's probably not gonna come off at all. Um, so, and I put four of them in, so you can hang three targets in between, so two chains on one hook in the middle over here. Um, and then, of course, just some regular bolts here on the back to hold up my targets. And I think all in all, by the time it's said and done, the whole cost that I paid in this, I mean, if you were to look at the two by fours, it took three two by fours, so that's six, 12, 18 dollars there. Um, I think $30 in bolts, you know, maybe $15 in chains, and then, you know, a piece of plywood, um, you know, if you could find one that's already junked up, which obviously I did, these are old, out of the backyard, stuff like that, but all in all, I don't think it cost me less than maybe 50 bucks to make this whole stand. Now, of course, the expensive part's going to be your steel for your targets, as this one here was a 12-inch, was $50 at Sportsman's. Um, and I'm sure you can find other deals on Amazon stuff like that, but that's the main reason why I haven't got those yet is I'm just starting out with precision game and the shooting game and I started out with this one But my next one I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get a six inch and then I'm gonna do like a larger upper torso style um, Steel plate that I can hang over here and here So what I'll probably do is the larger one here six inch here and the 12 inch there to give them room But yeah, so that's my video not too bad Are you recording? Yeah. According to what, draw holes? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, baby? I'm building a, a new target stand. So we can take this out and, you know, it'll take probably less than one minute to set up. But we can have three metal targets hanging here as I've got a hook here, hook here, hook here, and hook here. So the three of them can hang, we can do like a six inch target, four inch target, and our 12 inch, or if we want to go out to a thousand yards, we can hang from side to side, to side on the big hooks, a really big, you know, 24 inch target or something like that. Um, then I've got the plates back here, we can shoot handguns at, 22s at, or even side in our rifles at 100 yards or 200 yards. Um, and it all breaks down within minutes, throws in the back of the truck, when you get out there, it takes less than a minute to set up. And you got yourself a nice target. Can you show me how it breaks down? Once I'm done building it. <laughs> Sounds good. I gotta finish building it, babe. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and finish. Mwah. All right. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, there's a button to do so on the lower left bottom of my video here. Otherwise, you can do so down in the description. Everything I used, parts, and everything will be listed in, uh, down below with an Amazon affiliate link. So um, if you want to know where I got all the stuff, you can go right down below, um, even the targets and everything else. So thank you guys, and have a great day.